start. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my one year anniversary audio commentary. And this is going to be a dual commentary between my good friend Chum Pesk from UK and say hi. Hey, hey, hey there, folks. Um, happy birthday to there to you, um, us SBK. How is it going? <laughs> I'm all right, and I know Chum Pesk's birthday is going to be August 31st. I don't <laughs> know what he has been planned, and what do you think? Uh, what do you have in plan, Chum Pesk? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't even thought about it yet. It's too far away in the distance. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do some special videos. We're gonna have to see. Uh, certainly, if um, if I do do special videos, this is exactly the type of game I would do. This is a um, Moon and Grubby versus um, Yumiko and Fly. So a uh, very exciting two versus two from um, way back when, probably about a year ago actually, maybe a bit more actually. Um, but uh, certainly, this was uh, during the time when Moon and Grubby played a lot of two versus twos together. Um, obviously, um, Elf and Orc is a really common team these days. But uh, Elf, or sorry, Orc and Human isn't as common. Uh, what do you think we're going to be seeing from them? Um, uh, in, normal, in normal 2 on 2, I would say the orc is going to get the meat shields like a bunch of grunts and uh, night elf is going to get some uh, dryads and, but uh, this is going to be p between two pros and of course uh, like we discussed earlier, these two are going to have the, is kind of a problem of communicating because the moon doesn't speak English or any other language and the grubby doesn't speak Korean so they have to do uh, with, uh, with the hand signals or whatever they got to do. <laughs> <laughs> And and of course this is in 1.21, so we're not gonna have the health bar uh, always on, and so I have to keep holding my alt. alt yes, key. that's annoying. Yeah, have you seen what Moon's been doing in Fly Space? Really interesting play there. Did you see that? Oh, uh, Fly Space. What are you, what are you talking about? In um, Fly Space, uh, Moon uh, Fly was bringing out his. Um, on to build this voodoo lounge, but Moon, was, Moon got a really nice uh, about 30 second block with his wisp to stop the um, peon from getting there, and so he's going to have a late voodoo lounge now. Really nice um, early game play there by Moon, although he might now be in risk of losing this um, this one wisp. No, the wisp is going to be shielded from the ground because uh, the ground uh, wasn't in range to attack that wisp. Yeah, but I think now that the footman's in here, uh, Moon's in a bit of trouble, needs to get out of here. Yeah, but uh, here comes Demon Hunter, he's going to go after it with the, with the Blade Master. And uh, I don't know if you know that, Compask, but uh, I, love, I love one heroes. Demon Hunter is the strongest. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me really. I mean, um, uh, certainly, uh, Demon Hunter, obviously, a Blade Master doesn't get really powerful until he gets a bunch of items, a bunch of um, uh, levels, critical so he can get a higher level critical strike. And so. Um, it looks like Yumiko is going to be taking this um, expansion between the two bases. Not the standard run for human, but a really nicely defended one. Uh, really nicely, um, really interesting play there by him. And um, meanwhile, it looks like uh, Grubby's just been doing some harassment and uh, is now coming back in to uh, try and pick up some um, peasants here. And uh, actually managed to get a creep steal there. Really nicely played there by him. <laughs> yeah, and this is going to be a completely insane game between these two uh, former war champions, I have to say. I think. Between Grubby and Moon and Fly, they share about uh, about uh, let's say um, two WCG titles and uh, about uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to three three WCG no I'm sorry two WCG uh, ranks I'm talking about top three ranks um, uh, I think um, uh, Fly has ranked at number two last year and um, and Grubby has. Uh, gotten two WCG titles and of course Moon has gotten really close to, to any WCG titles. Yeah, yeah, certainly a very high caliber of player here. And um, it looks like we're seeing pretty standard play here from all sides, although um, obviously Yumiko um, setting up his expansion so not teching, but everyone else is teching him by this point. And um, what do you think we're going to be seeing from the Orc and uh, Human team here? Oh, uh, I think Orc and Human, I ha they're gonna have to go. Um, one of them has to go casters, of course, and I think that that guy's gonna be Human, and the other guy has to get has to get me shields like Grunts or maybe Raiders, Grunts and Raiders versus uh, and the casters for for the Orc and Human team, and uh, I really don't know how Grubby and hu and Grubby and Moon's gonna is gonna <laughs> communicate. <laughs> maybe maybe they're gonna they're gonna try to put a unit in, in the middle of nowhere and just paint that unit. <laughs> yeah. So so mm. so so the, the so the other guy can know he's gonna mass that unit or <laughs> something. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Certainly, passing on scouting information and stuff must have been really tricky for them. We were talking earlier about how they did communicate, and it was really forced and tricky. And um, Moon actually willing to lose all his mana just in terms just to um, get a bit of harassment here off on Yumiko's base, but not actually doing that much damage. I think I'm um, not too good for Moon at this point. Oh, well, Moon's going to creep here, and I think Grubby isn't going to uh, have to benefit from this uh, external war. And, uh, and Grubby isn't going to have a tier 2, he's not going to have a second hero, so we're going to see Grubby is going to stick with one hero. Grubby is going to try to chase down the Blade Master, do you see that? Yeah, Blade Master is getting very low, but it uh, does still have um, a bit of um, a bit of health and uh, a TP if he really needs Ooh, it. Ooh, Critical Strike kills it. Um, I'm sorry, the, the Moonwalk killed it. Mm, yeah, very nicely played there by Grubby, and it uh, looks like uh, Moon, uh, Moon unfortunately unable to put up his lures at this point just because of all this harassment. But uh, meanwhile, uh, is actually um, building, you can see, an Ancient of Wonders near the center of the map. Uh, Moon actually has built a couple buildings down near the center, so um, playing uh, sort of his standard way of uh, t playing two versus twos, which is always very unconventional. Oh my god, and the AM is getting chased down by the Blade Master. AM doesn't have a doesn't have a boost of speed, but that Blade Master does, so Blade Master is going to successfully chase down. Both players are going to, both player is going to, oh, wait a minute, looks like Moon is going to take, uh, Grabby is going to try to take away his, uh, uh, okay, why, why uh, did, can you explain what happened here? Uh, why Grabby is going to, uh, going to uh, give his unit control and take it away? Um, yeah, well, this is what we were talking about earlier, is that um, when Grubby and Moon wanted, or when one of Grubby and Moon wanted to ask for control from the other one, obviously they couldn't um, say it because they just don't speak um, their own languages. And so what they would do is they would give the other player control and then immediately take it away. And uh, that would work as a signal to say, uh, I want your control. And uh, this is a prearranged um, signal, I'm assuming. And so um, a really nicely played there by Grubby. I'm um, getting control there by Moon, managing to get the block off and kill that Archmage. And now um, Grubby and Moon are in a very dominant position here. Yeah, I wonder why Moon couldn't use the voice to block himself because uh, th these are pro players, and uh, Moon, of course, uh, has uh, seen where Grubby's doing, what Grubby's doing. So I wonder why Moon couldn't micro his Wisp to uh, to block. But it looks like Moon is going to set up an expansion at the uh, ten o'clock. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I don't know if you're familiar with this map because uh, there's this map is designed to to be to be observed because uh, there's a twelve creep camps around the map and you can you can actually designate those creep camps on one two three four five all the way to twelve a clock uh, like a clock like a clock face do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, certainly. They're um, base it's basically a square. They're evenly spaced along that square, so uh, it is yeah. um, pretty good for just um, calling out uh, in terms of uh, clock faces, but. Um, actually, look how many grunts Fly's gone for. That's really ambitious of him, considering that um, Moon's going to be going for uh, Dryads and Huntresses, both of which really hard counter um, grunts. And so, um, pretty uh, ambitious play here by Fly, who is now, um, if you look at um, Fly's base, actually, Unico set up a couple of towers in his base just for a bit of base defense. I think they know that um, they, they have the economy advantage, but not the uh, tech advantage, and so they're going to be slow playing this, I guess. I think, um, remember I said uh, one of them, uh, the 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 early game map control is going to be is going to be um, uh, grunts and um, I mean melee melee units <laughs> grubby and moon pen the map twice you see that yeah yeah <laughs> and <laughs> they're gonna argue about it with, with pens so yeah. <laughs> whoever to ping uh, the most times wins yeah whoever yeah, exactly <laughs> but uh, whatever uh, like back what I was saying um. Um, I think Yumiko and Fly is going to are, are going to gain uh, early map control because they're um, because be, because they they gonna go um, uh, casters and melee units. That, that's how the the orc and the human gain map control early game, and then and then um, let's hope uh, let's hope they can continue the map control and perhaps uh, expand or uh, contain the other the other heroes. I mean I, I mean the other guys. Yeah, 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 I think it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky for them because obviously um, they don't have a tech advantage because uh, obviously Yumiko tech so late, uh, and so uh, really they just have to harass now until uh, their economy advantage can uh, bring them to a tech sort of equilibrium almost. And uh, actually, some um, as you can see, both um, bases being harassed now, both Grubby's and Moon's uh, bases under attack, and a TP into Moon's base now uh, will f um, probably f force. Uh, uh, fly to get out of here. No, nope, Fly uh, is gonna stick. Uh, fly is gonna TP, okay. Yeah, Fly TPing out, but uh, Moon's base taking a. Uh, sorry, um, Grubby's base, I beg your pardon, taking a lot of damage. She's losing a bunch of um, 
burrows, and uh, TP now being used finally by Moon, and uh, is going to force Yumiko out of here, but not after having done a whole bunch of damage, so um, some really nice play there by um, Team Moose. Yeah, um, or you should say Team M M I M. <laughs> yes, yeah, certainly. Um, M Y M have been doing a good job up to this point, but um, 